hello my name is magdala welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here thank you so much for joining me in this video and i just ask that you would just like comment and subscribe if this video helps you out and you want to learn more about doing other it certifications with that being said that was my introduction um how you're going to pass the network plus certification exam so i'm assuming that this is not your first IT certification. And if it is, ooh, child, this one is a beast. This one was very hard for me and it took me a whole month in order to actually like, from the time that I started studying until I actually passed it was a whole month because it was a beast, like <laughs> it was crazy. So what you're gonna do to pass this exam, first go on YouTube, search up Professor Messer Network Plus Exam watch all of the videos every single video at two at two times the speed and like pay attention of course you don't have to take notes but if you do use his notes that he has on his website um and take notes i did take notes but i realized like i honestly didn't even need to take notes but i just did it because this one was a beast um take notes then you're gonna go on Udemy and you're gonna purchase Jason Dion's Network Plus course. So Professor Messer gives you a really well like overview of the material. Jason Dion connects all the dots together. Professor Messer goes along, um, he follows the exam objectives in order, but with Jason Dion, he kind of like puts it all in a way where it makes sense because the course um, objectives, it's not in any order. I felt like it was just like all over the place. It was here, then there, here, then there. And like, it was just not organized. But Jason Dion does a really good job at organizing the information in a way that you can understand and like what's connected to what and like how to know what you're studying. Um, so I said, that's what I suggest that you use for like content. For further um, resources, then you're gonna do Quizlet. I'm gonna attach the Quizlets, the exact same Quizlets that I used. That's gonna help you with space repetition. So every day you should be doing Quizlets every single day. You don't have to do the full, like one whole set every day, but you should at least like try to get through, like do like 25% and then another day 25%, and then the day after that 25% and then until you like finish it and then redo it again. And again and again and again because that space repetition is going to help you to build that la lasting memory that you need for the exam and then after that you're going to go ahead i'm looking at my notes um then you're gonna go ahead and just like start watching some of professor messer's study guides for his network plus exam and to be completely honest i completely skip like the first the like the beginning part and then i just go straight through the questions and then after the questions are over, I'm off of that video. Um, I think he has like, I can't remember how many questions that he has on his study guides, but he essentially just like sits down and like gives you more information about the exam and like different things like that and um, go over like exam questions. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back on Udemy again and you're gonna get Jason Dion's practice exams for the network plus. And then from there, you're going to take every single one of those exams, every single one. And then hopefully like you improve every time. And that's how you're going to pass this exam. Um, this one was a really hard one for me, but I genuinely think had I just started with like this um, from the beginning, I wouldn't have taken as long as I did because my whole thing was I felt very overwhelmed because it was a lot of information. In networking, I'm not very strong um, with networking. I am getting better at it now, but like then when I was studying for it, like I wasn't very strong or knowledgeable in networking. And it really like, the class was just like a shock to me. Um, but yeah, that's how you're gonna pass. Like I passed it already on the first try and I didn't have to retake it. So if you follow these, um, these advice I'm pretty sure you will pass and you will do great and one more thing like what I'd suggest you do is when you know you're gonna take the exam schedule it first 
like give yourself i would say at least two weeks but if you need more than that go ahead but like give yourself at least two weeks schedule it two weeks in advance and then you know okay i have this amount of time that i need to study to in order to pass this, this exam my problem was i didn't schedule it and so because i didn't schedule it i didn't have that like oh my gosh, I have to study, I have to study that mentality, you know, I was just like, oh, it's okay, I have time, I have time, I have time, and then like a whole month went by, I was like, oh shoot, like I need to take this exam, <laughs> so yeah, uh, schedule it first, and then start studying for it, and then you should be good, like don't let your fear keep you from taking this exam, it is tough, but if you put in the work, follow these steps, put in the work, you will 100% pass and do great, and yeah, best of luck. I really hope that you pass, which you will. Um, you just have to get past that fear. And yeah, good luck. I really, let me know um, once you take it and if you use any of these steps at all. And let me know when you pass. Bye.